everyone welcome back to the channel uh, today we're gonna go look at a boat I uh, don't know much about the boat uh, I've seen a few pictures of it never thought I'd be a boat guy but here we are we're 45 minutes away from potentially owning a boat therefore probably produce some more content some fishing on the water and such as that uh, it's a 1978 story runabout is what the uh, posting says so we're about to go meet up and check it out. See you when we get there. minutes out uh went to o'reilly's and bought a battery just because he doesn't have a battery so i haven't seen the boat yet <clears throat> but we are five minutes out so we are getting close and i'll see you guys in what's up everyone all right where i left you off last time was we were on our way to look at a boat and <clears throat> upon arrival and looking at said boat um the boat itself wasn't bad looking right the floor was solid and everything but i did not film the entire experience because i mean i just didn't want to document uh my lack of knowledge when it comes to looking at aquatic material long story short it was an inboard outboard 1979 story runabout um, it had a Ford uh, or Mercury 302 Maricruiser in it. Um, long story short, come to find out, engine was seized. Uh, so, wasn't able to make that deal. And then literally last night, I found this boat in Kentucky. Uh, it was about an hour and a half away. And I convinced my wife to load up in the car with me and the kiddo and go look at this boat. And I have a boat. <laughs> uh, saying that out loud is uh, quite, quite shocking. But yeah, I have a 1980 uh, Bomber Classic. And she does float. She's got one little crack. And it's not even a crack. It's just <clears throat> took the top layer of the paint off uh, on the hole where the guy is running up and down the Ohio River. But uh, check out this paint job. Like, does that not just scream like perfect 80s? I mean, come on. You can't go wrong with that. You know, and once I get the Bronco up and running... The Bronco pulling this thing is gonna be dope. It's gonna be dope. But I'm a boat owner. Yeah, that happened. Needs a little cleaning, right? Uh, what you don't see is the Evinrude that came in the back of the truck. Uh, when he purchased the boat, uh, it came with it. And this is the one that's currently running on it. Um, and I figured if anything, we'll just fix that one up and either sell it or just have it ready in case something decides to go wrong with this guy. But overall, pretty classic looking boat. Not gonna lie, most of you are like, that's a piece of shit. That's gonna need so much work. You just bought yourself an empty wallet. Yeah, you're probably right, but it's my empty wallet. So, oh, I can't tell you how excited I am. Now it does, uh, I need to get some muffs so I can really fire it up and whatnot. He said it needs a little bit of a carb tune up. Uh, he said he's been rocking old fuel or it's got old fuel in it, but uh, it's got a, two good batteries, decent looking fuel cell, right? Butt plug, boat plug. Uh, this was a live well. Uh, we may have to get that up and going. 
Um, but of course it's got some storage that uh, definitely needs cleaned up, right? But we got the old seats that rock with it. The other set is in the truck. Got the front cover. Uh, this dash piece with the uh, fishing seat in it, I need to replace this board because uh, it is soft and cracked. I've got to replace that. Uh, it's got a fish finder. Uh, it's also got this old school Evinrude trolling motor on it. Uh, he said it didn't work or that he didn't have it wired in properly. So that's something I'll have to look at. But what I can't get over is just this classic brown, like turd brown with this just orange and yellow and red classic paint job. That's honestly what sold me on the boat. Don't tell my wife. But yeah, that's that's what I love about it. So yeah. I've gotta get the uh I've gotta get the trailer title that came with a bill of sale in Kentucky. You don't have to run a title, but Indiana you do. But yeah. All in all, pretty freaking stoked. Uh can't wait to start tinkering on it and try and throw this in the water and not become the Titanic two uh, if i stay away from icebergs it, we should be able to complete that but uh yeah that's going to kind of wrap up this video not really going to uh push it much farther um i'll be doing some videos on as we work on the boat and get it ready to go and get it in the water so stay tuned uh, i look forward to hearing from you guys and yeah now i'm going to try and do my best at some uh b-roll footage to get that good look for you so until next time peace